टूडे क्लास इज कंटिन्यू विद स्टडी क्लास जनरल कंट्रोल मेजर ऑफ पैरासाइटिक इंफेक्शन मींस स्टडी कल हम लोग पढ़ा था कि पैरासाइटिक इंफेक्शन का कौन कौन से मेथड है तो पहला मेथड मैंने कीमोथेरेपी बताया था कीमोथेरेपी मींस यूज ऑफ केमिकल ड्रग्स फॉर द कंट्रोल ऑफ पैरासाइट दिस इज द important depends and methods and important method to control the parasitic infections so in chemotherapy a study we have discussed about the about enthelmintic various type of enthelmintic enthelmintic is a drug which used to control helminth parasite like round bird tape bird and flukes and one of the another important bird is thorny headed bird so hum log kal padhe various type ka enthelmintic their mechanism of action some enthelmintic act as a immuno modulator by levamisor which enhance the immunity of the host which help in faster recovery from the helminthic infection and some anti parasitic drug act as bo both indo parasite like helminth parasite and ecto parasite like tick mites fly flea bugs lice so called that endoctocidal drug like ivermectin and colgentel both act on indo parasite like helminths and ecto parasite like tick mite flea lice generally drugs jo hota hai ya enthelmintic generally indo parasite par kaam karta hai and insecticide generally ecto parasite pe kaam karta hai so some drug act as both indo as well as ecto parasite so today i continue the general control measure of parasitic infection with ek insecticide to so, drugs his act against insects jo drugs insect against kaam karta hai to control to kill or control the insects like flea lice tick bites bug it known as in insecticidal drugs like ddt jo aap jante honge and cypermethrin delta methrin all are insecticide insect is broad term it includes flea fly lice tick mites bug all are insects and another drugs are ecaricides the drug which acts against tick and mites jo drug only tick and mites ke against the insecticide which acts only tick and mites called ecaricide so some narrow term because it only act against tick and mites so known as ecaricide amitras delta methrin are ecaricide ecaricide is a insecticide type of drug Ecaricide is act only ticks and my like amitraz and delta methrin. Amitraz is another important ecaricide to control tick and mites in various animal species. These are the like enthelmintic groups, various type of enthelmintic enthelmintic group. We have discussed. a study these are the group of insecticide various group of insecticide like organophosphate group chlorinated chlorinated hydrocarbon carbamate synthetic formaldehydes fly repellents and growth regulator and these are the example of the various groups of the insecticides and these are the mechanism of action Then come the anti-protozoal drug, which 
we have discussed enthalmetic we acts against helminth parasite i have discussed insecticide or caricide which acts well in ectoparasite and this is the anti protozoal drug which acts as against protozoa here we have mentioned some important anti protozoal drug there are a lot of anti protozoal drug but here i have mentioned only some important anti protozoal drugs like bupervacuum is marketed the actor name is butac lex is effective against thaleria species thaleria various species of thaleria like thaleria nulata is most commonly a species found in india called bovine tropical thaleriosis this is important hemoprotozoan disease an economical hemoprotozoan disease prevalent in india and drug effective against thaleria species is buparvacuna cause disease known as thaleriosis buparvacuna is a costly drugs about 2000 to 2500 is tenable vial high cost then another drug is quinaparamine sulfate and quinaparamine chloride and comes under same name triquin is this drug is effective against trypanosoma species trypanosoma species is a extracellular hemoprotozoan parasite mainly found in blood plasma extracellular means blood cells ke bahar aata hai blood cells ke andar nahi like thaleria is a intracellular parasite because is found inside the rbc yeah inside the wbc but trypanosoma is a extracellular parasite found outside the rbc or wbc found in the blood plasma so it is known as extracellular parasite it's a important and the species is trypanosoma evensai cause disease is known as trypanosomiasis or serra an effective drug against this trypanosoma evensai and and another trypanosomiasis trypanosoma species is quinaparamine sulfate and quinaparamine chloride another drug is effective against trypanosoma is isometamidium chloride and third important drug in case of in anti protozoal drug group is dimina dinesiturate this comes under bernil's and another trade name dimina dinis effective mainly drug is effective against babesia species but also some part effective against trypanosoma species and thaleria species so dimina dinis associate is commonly marketed against bernil's effective mainly against babesia species babesia cause disease is known as babesiosis or red water disease this ko lal pesaru because urine become coffee color in the in this in the babesiosis because hemolysis of rbc occurs during babesia infections and hemoglobin is secreted through the urine and that leads to coffee color urine Babesia is also intracellular parasite found in pairs or in singles or more in number inside the RBC. So it is also a intracellular parasite. Another drug effective against the Babesia species is imidocarf and tripan blue is effective against in the list of anti protozoal drugs another drugs group of drug is sulfonamides amprolium lesalosib nitrofurazone these all four drug is effective against the imeria species imeria cause disease known as coccidiosis imeria cause disease known as coccidiosis Imeria is a host-specific parasite. Means 
इमेरिया टेनेला आदि मिलेगा इन्फेक्ट करेगा तो पोल्ट्री को इन्फेक्ट करेगा कैटल सिप बोर्ड को इन्फेक्ट नहीं करेगा इमेरिया जुर्नाई या इमेरिया बोविस इन्फेक्ट करता है दियर लोकेशन दियर होस्ट इज ए कैटल बुक है बट इमेरिया जुर्नाई डज नॉट इन्फेक्ट पोल्ट्री और अनदर होस्ट सो इमेरिया स्पेसिस इज ए होस्ट स्पेसिफिक पारसा है दूसरे क्रॉस इन्फेक्शन नहीं होता है इसमें तो इमेरिया इज ए होस्ट स्पेसिफिक पारासाइट इंपॉर्टेंट डिजीज इन केस ऑफ पोल्ट्री इंडस्ट्रीज बिकॉज इज कॉज हिज मोर्टिलिटी इन यंग चिक्स एंड ड्रग इज इफेक्टिव सल्फोनामाइड पेट्रोलियम लेसालोसिन नाइट्रोफिनाजोन एंड अदर ड्रग इज ऑल्सो अवेलेबल अगेंस्ट टू ट्रीट एंड कंट्रोल द इमेरिया स्पेसिस और कोक्सीडियोसिस एंड You have been known about the metronidazole. Metronidazole is a drug commonly effective against the intermevascularica giardia species. It causes intermevascular hemorrhagic dysentery. This is a genotic parasite. So metronidazole is effective against the intermevascular. So these are the important. anti protozoal drugs and their parasite in which these drug are effective so always remember this drug because all the drugs are regularly used in the field because thaleriasis trypanosomiasis babesiosis coccidiosis cases are prevalent in in all over the world so always remember drug of choice of thaleriosis is buparvakin drug of trypanosomiasis is unaparamine sulfate and uraparamine chloride that is trypin drug of choice of babesiosis is dimenazine acetate these are the Three important hemoprotozoan parasite: Trypanosoma, Babesia, and Thaleria, and their drug of choice. Trypanosoma species. These are all hemoprotozoan parasite found inside the blood of the host. Trypanosoma is a extra cellular parasite found in the blood plasma, and Babesia and Thaleria is a intracellular parasite found inside the blood cells. Drug of choice of trypanosomiasis is unaparamine sulfate and chloride, usually marketed under trade name Trypin. Babesia drug of choice is dimenazine acetate, comes under trade name Bermils. And thaleriosis drug of choice is buparvakin, comes under the trade name Butalex. This is the costly drugs about one vial. Cost is about twenty five hundred. Twenty five hundred rupees. About one vial of cost. Then come to chemo prophylaxis. Chemo means chemical drugs. Prophylaxis means to prevent the infection. So chemo prophylaxis is a type of prophylactic measure that drugs are used in susceptible animal to prevent the infection. Generally, vaccine is used as a chemo pro. immuno prophylaxis to prevent the infection or prevent the disease occurrence here is chemo prophylaxis here is chemical drugs used in a susceptible animal means animal in which infection is occur to prevent the infection chemo prophylaxis in the list of chemo prophylaxis prophylactic drug list quina paraffin chloride is act as a chemo immuno prophylactic drug for trypanosoma virusi jaisa ki dekhte trypin consist of two salt quina paraffin sulfate and chloride quina paraffin sulfate act as a curative drugs wo cure karta hai kill karta hai parasite ko and quina paraffin chloride is a Prophylactic drug. 
इनलेट ऑब्जर्व होता है बॉडी के अंदर एज ए प्रोफाइलेक्टिक वर्क करता है टू प्रिवेंट दैट अंकरेंस ऑफ सरा अबाउट फोर मंथ यदि क्लोराइड साल्ट इसमें मिला है तो फोर मंथ तक को एनिमल को सरा से सरा रोग एंटीपाइनोसोमा एनसाइ से बचाता है तो पीना पारामिन क्लोराइड इज ए कीमो प्रोफाइलेक्टिक ड्रग बिकॉज यहां हम केमिकल ड्रग यूज कर रहे हैं टू प्रिवेंट द इंफेक्शन तो इन केस ऑफ ट्राइटिंग टू साल्ट uses quinaparamine sulfate act as a curative drug to treat the to kill the trypanosoma evensi parasite and quinaparamine chloride act as a preventive and prophylactic drug to prevent the occurrence of sarra uh, trypanosoma evensi infection up to four months another chemo prophylaxis drug is brought us spectrum anthelventic like alvendazole fenvendazole is used as a deworming to prevent the infection of various nematodes or round worm well so these are the also act as a chemoprophylaxis then come to chemoimmunoprophylaxis chemo means chemical immune immuno means some immunogenic agent is used as a prophylaxis both chemical and immunological agent used to prevent the occurrence of disease it is a infection and treatment methods in which result immunity developed in host which prevent the subsequent infection is the common example hai malaria is a tick transmitted disease Malaria का vector is a tick in tick salivary gland ascorozoid जो infective stage है malaria का वो रहता है तो tick gut tissue को उसमें immunogenic होता है जो malaria infected tick gut होता है उसको salivary glands को निकाल के उसको triturate करके inoculate किया जाता है host के अंदर and this is the infective stage of malaria sporozoid and this found in the salivary gland of the tick which inoculated in the host during blood sucking so sporozoid is extracted and ground out and inoculated in the host and subsequently treated with the oxytetracycline then oxytetracycline drug usme diya jata hai ki pathogenic na ho jaye तो उसका पैथोजेनिक रिड्यूस हो जाता है जिसके कारण इम्यूनिटी होस्ट में आता है एंड प्रिवेंट द सब्सिक्वेंट इंफेक्शन सो इन दिस केस केमिकल इज यूज एंड एंटीजेंस इज यूज इम्यूनोजेनिक स्टेज ग्राउंड ऑप्टिक टिश्यू संस्पेशन दैट इज प्रोथोजाइट इज यूज एज ए इम्यूनोलॉजिकल एजेंट to prevent the occurrence of malaria parvae infection in cattle this is the asporozoid stage found in the salivary gland of pig it inoculated it, it inoculated in the host during blood sucking to isme asporozoid ko nikal ke usko triturate karke salivary gland se usko host ke andar inoculate karke subsequent treatment bhi oxytetracycline se leke उसके पैथोजेनिक पैथोजेनिसिटी को रिड्यूस करके इम्यूनिटी डेवलप किया जाता है उसमें दिस इज नोन एज इमो इम्यूनो प्रोफाइलेक्सिस दिस इज द सो इट इज नोन एज इंफेक्शन एंड ट्रीटमेंट में एस्पोरोजाइट का इंफेक्शन दिया जाता है देन ट्रीटमेंट किया जाता है केमिकल से ऑक्सीटेट्रासाइक्लिन का देन अनदर मेथड ऑफ कंट्रोल ऑफ पैरासिटिक इम्यूनोलॉजिकल कंट्रोल्स that is prophylactic to prevent the occurrence of disease usually used as a vaccine some vaccine has been prepared generally vaccine preparation is tough against the parasitic infection due to the antigenic variation or various antigen found in case of parasite but some vaccine is available has been prepared like acha bhag t is is a cyzone culture live vaccine 
and effective against the thaliriosis. Coxivax and Levacox is, is the vaccines effective against the coccidiosis that is in area species. And tick guard and Gavac is a vaccine, this is a recombinant vaccine and BM86 antigens extracted from the tick guard antigen which is amnogenic that is buclus microclus 86 that, that is in short BM86 antigens this is a recombinant vaccines and used against to prevent ticks that is buclus microclus ticks and another vaccine important vaccine is Dictol is the ex irradiated vaccine is working as in that, that lung valve that is nematodes, dictyocolus, viviparus. This is the some important vaccines have been prepared to prevent the occurrence of some important parasitic disease. This is the tick guard vaccines. The BM86 is tick guard antigens. This is a GABAC vaccine. This is the tick guard plus vaccine. Tick guard plus vaccine contains BM86 and BM91 antigen. BM means buclus microclus. This is mainly effective against buclus microclus tick because tick act as a vector of various. Hemoportozoan, bacterial, viral, and rickettsial disease. So, prevent, by preventing the tick by using this vaccine, we ultimately control the tick borne virus, important and economical tick borne diseases. Then, another method to control parasitic infection is intermediate host and vector because various parasites require intermediate host or vector. To complete their life cycle. So we can control vector or intermediate source so that we can control parasite. That is a snail act as a vector of higher trematodal parasite flukes and copper sulfate and sodium pentachlorophane act, act as a molluscicidal drug control the snails because we, if we, we can control the snails, we ultimately control the snail borne diseases like various trematodal many fluke, fluke borne diseases. Copper sulfate is usually used in sunny days because a snail act as during sunny day, bright light. And then another, some, then ectoparasite, some ectoparasite act, act, act as a vector of various parasitic <laughs> and another bacterial and viral disease. So free fly controlled by the various insecticidal or the tricidal drug, which ultimately controlled by the, this, this, transmitted bowel diseases. This is the copper sulfate to control the snails. This is the mitras. This is the chemical drug to control that thick mite lice. So this is the insecticidal or acaricidal drug. This is the chemical control of as intermediate or host or vector, this is the biological control of intermediate host or vector. Some biological organism used to control intermediate host or vector, like duck. Duck rearing is used to control the snail and ultimately control the snail worm diseases, which act as intermediate host of various trematodal parasites. Duck usually feed on a snails. To control the snail population and some fishes to feed the mosquito larva and he ultimately control the mosquito then mosquito borne diseases so rearing of gambusia fishes to control the mosquito larva to control the mosquito population and ultimately control the mosquito borne 
mosquito or parasitic diseases. There's some bacteria like Bacillus fruginensis, Israelensis bacteria found in the soil, which feed the mosquito larva, which ingests the mosquito larva to control the mosquito population. So ultimately control the mosquito ball diseases. So this is all our biological method to control the parasite. Some mechanical method is used to control the intermediate host or vector like a strain like peak are collected manually by hand or by fishing net, then crush the ticks or a snail and ultimately control the this intermediate host or vector population to control the various parasitic infections. Then pasture management, grazing management is method is used to control the parasitic like rotational grazing. Generally, younger animals are susceptible to parasitic infection. Generally, younger animals are parasitic infection common, hota hai, pathogenic, hota hai. adults are generally act as carrier, generally in which clinical sign do not occur. So, in, during grazing, young animals are grazed first, then followed by the adult animal. Because earlier, our adult to chara kisi grazing field mein le jayenge, to uske la saliva, feces ke dwara various eggs excreted out hoga, kyunki wo carrier statement generally adult rahta hai. Then, ab half ko adi le jayenge grazing mein, to usko ingest kar jayega during grazing. Generally. Younger animal ko isliye pahle chalana chahiye kisi grazing field mein, then adult, immune adult. Generally, adult act as a carrier in which clinical sign does not occur. This is known as rotational grazing. Rotational grazing, susceptible younger animal should be grazed first, followed by immune adult. Then another grazing is alternate grazing. Various host common with some parasite like sheep and goat make common hemocus controtus infection of the bus hemocus controtus is not found in case of horse and cattle so this field may up sheep and goat ko graze kara rahe hain us field mein cattle ko sheep ko graze kara us field mein cattle ko graze kara sakte hain kyunki dono ka common parasite generally nahi hai and in this field, we graze the sheep, in this field, we graze the goat, so we graze the feces, the monkus controtus, the larva, the larva, the larva, the grazing field, and sheep, another sheep and goat, get the infection during grazing. So, pasture is graded by different species of animal, like cattle, horse, and sheep, each with the few months. A pasture grazed by cattle and horse is considered safe since sheep and goat and cattle horse do not share the same species. Okay, generally cattle and horse may same parasite hota hai, sheep and goat may generally same parasite hota hai. So sheep ko charane ke baad, usne goat ko nahi charana chahi hai, goat ko kisi grazing field mein chara, grazing karane ke baad, sheep ko nahi graze karana chahi hai. This is the alternating grazing pasture. A spelling, another pasture management method. Withdrawal of grazing animal from the infected pasture at least one year to kill the parasite in a stage by a starvation. Adi kisi grazing field mein regular ham graze kara rahe animal ko, usme pigs ka larva ya helminths ka larva survive karta. Usko adi ek month tak chhod ke, generally three month ya one year tak usko left kar denge grazing and graze रखेंगे उस फील्ड को तो उसमें जो लार्वा रहेगा अब्सेंस ऑफ द होस्ट डाइ कर जाएगा सो दिस इज द पास्चर स्प्रेडिंग एंड फ्लोइंग हल जोतना या बर्निंग ऑफ द पास्चर टू किल द लार्वल स्टेज ऑफ द वेरियस पैरासाइट दिस इज द अनदर पास्चर मैनेजमेंट टू कंट्रोल द पैरासाइटिक स्टेजेस Then, managemental method of control, we use regular deworming, proper disposal of manure, keep healthy and 
seek animal in separate houses to control the various parasitic this is the managemental control method this is the genetical control method some breeds have genetical resistance like endama cattle is resistant for tipaniosomiasis red masai sheep is resistant for hemoptosis garout sheep is resistant for acidosis mouse indicus desi breed our desi breed is resistant for ticks so using by this breed to develop genetical parasitic resistant fish breed is may be helpful to control the parasitic infection these are the some genetical resistance breed may use exfoliated to develop genetical parasite genetical resistance breed this all about the parasite general control measure of the parasitic infection chemotherapy method immunological method intermediate host or vector control method then pasture management managemental control gen genetical control method of parasitic infection thank you